Jerry Carvassia here, moving on to the next segment of the local correction brush within the Adobe Camera Raw feature. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the brush or hit K on the keyboard to transport me to the brush. You can see the attributes of the brush as far as the uh, different corrections that we can make. I'm going to bring this back to uh, zero for white basically, so I'm not going to add any color here and I'm going to increase the exposure on the statuary. Now as you park the cursor over here you'll notice that the brush size has a double circle. Okay, The double circle is significant in that it tells me that this is a feathered brush. So the inside circle represents the size of the brush and the outside circle represents how much feathering is taking place. You can control all this by going to size and feather here and any of the other attributes like flow and density. But what I prefer to do here is to use the keyboard shortcuts of the right bracket key to make the brush larger. Left bracket key, just keep tapping, makes it smaller. To modify the hardness or softness of the brush, what I do is hold the shift key down and left bracket will make it very hard once the double circle disappears. Right bracket will give me a feathered brush just like that. Just keep tapping on the right bracket until you come to the size of the brush you want to work with. Now I'm going to overdo my exposure and then start to paint in the image. Okay, now this is very cool. I've got a feature called Auto Mask enabled, meaning that if I get the feathered edge of the brush too close to the vines or the sky, the masking uh, associated with the brush attribute will prevent it from spilling over the edge. So I paint just like that. Click a couple of times here in the face just to brighten it up. Now the beauty of this is again is the fact that everything is dynamic. I just control the exposure quite easily by turning up or down the, the control slider. It works really well. So I have a tendency to overdo the adjustment and then come back and then tone it down or season it to taste. Now if you want to add a new brush just hit the new button and in this case here I might want to check out the um, vines and make them just a little brighter. So what I'll do is I'll bring this over here to zero and bring the brightness up to about 80 and I'll start to paint within the vines and just like that. And again season that to taste once you've got it enabled. Now to see your mask all you need to do is park the cursor over the pin that shows your mask. So you've you can see there's a little bit of a mistake there, so I can identify this mask by clicking on it, and then I can hold the Option or the Alt key down, and I can erase away information from the mask if I've spilled over to another area. And to inspect it again, just park the cursor, and you can see the change just like that. Very cool. Now, throughout the Camera Raw dialog box, if you make an adjustment and you want to zero that adjustment out, it's easy to just double click the triangle and you'll notice that it zeroes out. So you don't really need to reset the whole situation. You can just reset individual properties or attributes of the brush that you're trying to control. Again, so if I start to move clarity up and I decide I don't like clarity, double click the triangle, zeroes it out. Alright, there you have it. The Adjustment Brush in Photoshop CS4 and Camera Raw.